All right, cool. I'll give you just a second. Looks like uh, looks like everything is going going live though. I just want to make sure that the video I actually see it pop up on Facebook real quick. Okay, All right, cool. cool, awesome, man. Yeah, well, good. We're live uh, live here on Facebook. This is super exciting. I've got Michael Mann with the Michael Mann team at Fairway Mortgage. Super pumped to have you uh, have you joining us today. Um, Thanks, for anybody, brother, man. you know, yeah, man, definitely. It's it's gonna be awesome. Um, as you guys come on the call, make sure that you comment a number one to a hundred. Um, down below while we're on the live. What we're going to give away today is access to a digital course we created called the Original Renter Ad. And this uh, is one of the oldest, most trusted templates that you can use on Facebook to generate first time home buyer leads today. Um, and uh, so that's what we're going to give away. It's a $197 digital course. You can have your first ads live in an hour. Um, and it's available at originalrenterad.com. So the way you're going to enter to win that is just comment any number one to 100. And after Michael gives us this awesome tip, I'm going to use a random number generator to pick the winner. All right. So it should be, should be cool. So yeah, man, thank you so much for, for joining. It's an honor to, to have you join us. I know your team is just crushing for 2018. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do next year. It's going to be incredible. So uh, I know you've got a, this awesome tip you want to share out. You want to jump into it? Yeah, absolutely, man. I'd love to. Um, actually, I got, I got two things I'd like to share. I'd like to share uh, just a little bit about the team first. Um, we have a big, we do have, we have a big team, but a lot of people that work real hard. Um, we have, uh, you know, people who stay late, come in early, get the job done. You know, they don't check out, they don't come in at nine, check out at five. And see a lot of people that you know, really, really care, really care, take care of, uh, um, everything that we got going on. So one of the focuses that I'd like to talk about is taking care of your team, taking care of the people that talk, that, that, that take care of, uh, take care of you. Um, and the re when you invited me to do this, I was actually planning an outing that we were doing for the team. Uh, we just did it on Friday. We actually do an annual Christmas luncheon. Um, take the team out to a local club. I, I'm a big golfer, so I belong to the local country club over here. We do a lot of our events there. We do a, a lot of golfing, a lot of family stuff. But I took the team out to this annual Christmas brunch that, they, that, that we have out there. And, uh, you know, just give them the day off of work, go out there, have a – have a lunch, hang out. We don't talk business. Um, give them a little Christmas gift, you know, uh, just, you know, let them know that they're important. Let them know they're special. So that, that's what we just did this month here. Um, typically I got a couple other things written down here that we typically do. Um, but this is just in line. I just walked out of my uh, monthly meeting that we have. So we'll have a monthly thing with, um, uh, with the team. We do a, like a, like a, a luncheon. So we do a monthly luncheon meeting, not really a sales meeting, but more like a branch meeting. Uh, hey, well, here's what's going on. Um, and we do a luncheon, but here's the thing. We cook for the team. So the managers will cook food for the team. We just don't order pizza. We just don't, uh, you know, get a couple hoagies or something. We'll actually cook for the team. So today, over the weekend, I made two huge batches of homemade soup from scratch. You know, not, I'm not, I'm not dumping chunky, uh, chunky soup into the, into the thing, <laughs> but you know, from scratch, we let them know that hey, here's what we did. We want to really, it's like an acts of service, right? Taking care of your team, uh, doing, giving an acts of service. Cause that's what they're doing for us all week long. So, um, a couple of other things that I have written down here that we're doing and that we've done in the past, you know, take them out for a day of mini golf. Um, what I like to do is I like to do this in the afternoon. So we're taking them out of work actually. We're paying them to go have fun. We're, uh, um, hey, we're going to go out and play some miniature golf. I pay for it, obviously. We're, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. Um, we take an afternoon to go out to the lake. So we'll go out and do a cookout at the lake. Um, <clears throat> just show, letting them know that we really care, not just for, you know, care about them from a work aspect. But as a, we want to hang out with you. We want to get to know you. We want to have a conversation outside of work. We want to, you know, just – really make sure that they've taken care of us all week. So we're taking care of them. Um, we'll have a quarterly dinner with the team. So we'll go out to, we'll just all go out to dinner and just have a celebration. Um, other things that you can do, I mean, we go race car driving, uh, go do these little, you know, little go-karts We can go bowling. Um, have, I have the team over to the house for a cookout. So it's just like a random thing that we do every once in a while, but I just, it, and it's because sometimes we get busy. We forget, you know, sometimes we get busy. We're all caught up in closing loans. Don't forget to take care of your team. Um, one of the things we do is we have an all about you form that we fill out for all of our clients. Well, I filled it out for my team because my biggest client is my team. 
it's not the loan. It's not the it's not the person buying a home anymore. My biggest client is the team. So if we have them get them to fill out an all about you form, know exactly what they like, what their favorite hobbies are, what they were, and then um, for their birthdays in our sales meeting, whoever's birthday is that month, buy them a personalized gift based on what they like, and we give it to them. You know, in the in the monthly meeting. So I just want to take a moment to touch on that. Um, just for anybody who might be on here on the call, has a team or has a loan partner, has a receptionist, has an assistant, or if you're like me and have 19 people in the room, you know, it's, it's, it's really important to uh, make sure that they know that you care, not just about work, but care about them as, a, as an individual. So I just want to touch on that briefly. That was one of the tips that I wanted to talk about. Uh, there is definitely something else that we can, we can chat about if, uh, uh, if you want to segue into that. Yeah, sounds good. I know. So you, you mentioned basically that you've had this process that you guys have been doing that's been really making a huge impact on your production, your income. And um, I know you were going to kind of maybe touch on, on that idea. Um, hey, give me a, give us a thumbs up in the comments if you guys like the first idea about some of the different special events that you can do with your team. Make sure that you're commenting uh, your number one to 100 so you have a chance to win. And we're going to give Michael a chance to give us a, a second tip real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... Second tip that I want to talk about that's been absolutely huge and crushing for uh, going into the new year, really. Um, you know how you know a lot of people take this time. Off. Oh, geez, I kind of lost you there. Can you still see me? Yeah. There we go. Cool. Um, you know how a lot of people take uh, a lot of people take some take time off during the holidays. They think, well, it's a lot slower. And I've heard a lot of loan officers doing this. Right. <laughs> it's a lot slower during the holidays. Oh, I'll just uh, take these next two weeks off and recoup and relax. Brother, that's, just, that's quite opposite of what we're doing right now. In fact, we're stepping on the gas right now while others are letting off. And one of the things that, you know, not only are we continuing to talk with our current realtor relations, but um, I came up with this thing in our office called new money meetings. So new money meetings and new money phone calls. We have tracking forms that I've got from various coaching companies over the years, um, how to track activities and all this kind of stuff. And we've been using that for a long time. One of the things that I found that happens is the phone calls that are happening anyway are happening anyway. So the phone call when you're talking to the client or you're updating them or talking to the real estate agent, calling them on Tuesdays and giving them an update, um, those are happening anyway. And that's what's ending up on our form, right? but we're not specifically tracking new money meetings or new money phone calls. Excuse me. Um, so what I did was, you know, and I tried to simplify this for the team. You know, if you go in and you start talking about, it, you got to talk to 20 new agents a week and it just gets to be overwhelming. Right. Right. Um, so what I did was we took the number three and uh, my uh, team captain and I were talking about the power of three. So if we just focused on having three new money calls a day, now listen, you're making phone calls already, right? It's a loan officer, you're calling people, but there's a whole list of, of, of people that you can call that you don't do business with or always wanted to talk to. Um, but if you just focus on having three new money calls a day, that could be to real estate agents, financial planners, insurance people, uh, business owners, um, just having three new conversations each and every day, just three, that's not a huge number. That's right. That's, that's palatable. Right. And if you focus on three a day, that's 15 new money calls a week. Now, obviously as, as full time successful, uh, business growing loan officers, we're talking to a lot more people than that. We're talking to our current people, right? This is just an addition to that three new money calls a day with an effort or a target of getting three new money meetings per week, just three. Now, again, you're going to be meeting with your current referral partner, so you know you're going to have a lot more than three meetings, but just three new money meetings every week. You extrapolate that out over the year, That's multiply that by 50 weeks. That's 150 new people that you would meet in one year's time. Now, I don't know about individual results, but I know if I'm meeting 150 new people, and let's just say I was really bad and 75% of them didn't like me, right? I imagine, you know, a lot of people that are on here are looking to grow. They're personable. They're going to have a lot better results than that. But I like to reduce to the ridiculous. So if I'm meeting 150 new people a year and only 
25% of them like me or say 30 people or 35 people, right? Really liked and wanted to start doing business with me. And what if they only gave you one transaction? 35 new people, one transaction, and that's all you ever got. And again, I'm reducing to the ridiculous, so hope you're following me here on this. That's three new loans a month. That's three extra loans a month. Now, for some people that are listening to this call, that might be doubling business. For some people that are listening to the call, maybe three loans a month isn't a whole heck of a lot, but it's better than nothing, right? But remember, I reduced this to the ridiculous. 75% of the people didn't like me and aren't going to refer me, and only 25% actually referred me only one deal. Reduced to the ridiculous, that's three more loans a month. Now, right. let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, though, in a, in, in, in a real scenario. Probably 40 to 50% of the people are going to like you and get into a relationship with you. But let's just pretend it's 25. So 35 people. I highly doubt you're only going to get one loan per year. You're going to have some referral partners that are going to give you three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine transactions a year, right? Right. So let's just say those 35 people, and you did an average of three loans, with each of those people. That's over a hundred extra loans in 2019 from just meeting three new people a week. That's a hundred new loans in addition to the business that you're currently doing. Now I want to take it back to the beginning of where I started this and how this all started with the power of three, three new phone calls per day or 15 a week with the, assumption or the goal of the, 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 the intention of three new meetings per week to get a hundred new loans next year. You think that's palatable, man? I think so. Yeah, for sure. You think that what, what, what about with the system that you have your, your agent attraction system? I mean, you have an agent attraction system that gets people in front of a lot more real estate agents than that. Right. But I know sometimes these big chunks and, and dude, your, and your stuff works amazing. And you know, you the stuff that you're talking about is, you know, get in front of 10 and 20 new agents and dude, I get that. And that's what you should be doing, but I'm just reducing this to the ridiculous. So it's more palatable for maybe somebody that is just a solo LO and you know, every, anybody can have three new meetings a week. Anybody sure. can do that. Then if you do it properly and have the follow up and, Again, reducing to the ridiculous, it's three loans a month, six loans a month, nine more loans a month. So what we did is we created this form and it's, there's, and again, if, if it's, if, if it's important, you got to measure it. So I've created this form for the loan officers that are on my team that every single Monday, when they come into the, into the, our office meeting, we have a jumpstart meeting every single Monday at nine <clears throat> and they bring this form filled out and the form says new money calls. Who'd I talk to last week? new meetings that are set for the following week. And then the bottom part of it, we have, um, what are the results of the meetings that you had last week? Who'd you meet with and what were the results? And then at the bottom of the page, we have targets. So this form is with them all time. The form is with them in their desk. I put it in a binder. It's on an eight by 14 and a half piece of paper. And it goes next to their other tracking form, which they're still filling out like they're doing on a weekly basis. But this is just a new focus on new money, new money calls, new money meetings. And man, we're, we're, we've, we've built a follow-up system that we put in place that, you know, uh, instructs us to give us a call, stay in touch with them, stay follow up. And it's just been working awesome. So we've implemented this um, probably about f- six weeks ago in a brand new area. I went to a brand new area we were not even in. We've done a couple loans up in there. So we've known a, co- a few realtors here and there, but I, I went in and had meetings. I set up one day, one day a week, Fridays. And I put, I have four slots that my team fills for me with four meetings. That, that's it. 10, 1130, one and three or in two thirty. Okay. And those are filled up every, so I've gone in there and I've had four, I, w- I went up there in, in four weeks. I met with 16 agents. And on the sixth week, when we looked at this, we looked back and, and we have a very scripted meeting template where we're like, we're asking for the business. 
we're creating agreements, not expectations. Agreements are different than expectations. An expectation looks like, hey, this is a great meeting. Do you think we can work together? And the realtor goes, yeah, we're going to do a lot of business together. And then we expect them to give us business. And then they go into witness protection program and we never ever <laughs> see them. Yeah. Right? But an agreement is we talk about what we can do for the agent and we're going to do this for you. Here's how we do our business. And if we did this, this, and this, would you be a happy real estate agent? Cool. Well, I don't like to talk a good game. I like to show. I like to have proof. I want to show you what I can do and show you that I can do this, this, and this. Can I show you that I can do this, this, and this? Cool. Can we have an agreement that you're going to send us your next two buyers that I can work on and show you how we do, save you three to five hours on every transaction by doing this, 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 and this? Cool. So you and I have an agreement. I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on putting all this other stuff together that we talked about. And you agree to send me your next, and it's firm, dude. And it's firm and in place. And by creating those agreements, dude, in six weeks in a brand new area where nobody knows us, within six weeks, we already had three deals, not under contract, but closed. Wow. Closed. And that's nuts. Those are three deals from 16 meetings in a four week period. And that was, uh, and, and that was probably three weeks ago, I think, when we when we looked at that. So we've already got another two deals closed, totally under, uh, totally you know, paid in our pocket. Five extra transactions within a six to seven week period, and multiple, multiple other referrals that we're getting from these people. So we're going in there, clear, firm, and direct, creating agreements, not expectations. And again, this is all from the new money meeting form. Within six weeks, we already had, and, and you know how long it takes to start a relationship, right? Right. And these are all from scratch. A real cool story about that is when walking into the office waiting for another agent, there's a guy standing there, and he's like, yeah, hey, who are you? Mike Fairway Mortgage. He goes, you know, I got a question about a mortgage. Can, can you answer a question? I got a client right now. Answer the question. The dude gives us a loan. Didn't even have a meeting with the guy. Gave us a loan. It's closed. So, what you know, the whole purpose of all of this is that I'm saying is, number one, this is, this is supposedly the slower time when people aren't buying homes. This is supposedly when realtors aren't working. Dude, we went out and knocked it out of the park. Four, four days with four meetings of real estate agents. We've got six deals that are closed already. We're getting deals from people that we haven't even, didn't even have an appointment with. Walking into an office going, hey, hey, you know, I got, a, I got this client. I'm going to work with them. And this is all in the slower time when people are taking off. So it's not too late, man. It's only what, the 17th? I know people are going to start taking off here very soon. Dude, we're stepping on the gas. We're not taking much time off, man. We've got so many new relationships that we're building. We've got appointments set for the week between Christmas and New Year's. People are working. It's getting it done. And it all goes back to the focus. If it's important, you need to measure it. And we're measuring these three new money calls and these three new money meetings in addition to what all the other stuff that we've been doing all with the purpose of being profitable in the first quarter. And you know, sometimes first quarter isn't always profitable in our businesses. It's kind of like a loss leader getting into the spring ramping up. But man, we, I just had a meeting. We were, we were just in the meeting where I was honoring my team. And uh, the one woman said, she goes, you know, typically this is the type of year that slows down, but I see the efforts that you guys are doing and I'm, I'm seeing it pick up and it's middle December. So Man, I just, I just thought that was important to share. I thought that was, could be inspirational for some people that are on here contemplating of you know, slowing down or taking relax. I'd encourage you not to. I'd encourage you to get out there and um, do, you know, go make it happen. Make a difference. Talk, talk to three new people a day. It's awesome. Yeah, I man, you made it so simple, right? Three new people a day with the goal. So 15 a week with the goal of getting three meetings set. Um, and then creating agreements, not expectations yes. at, at those initial meetings. So like when you're typically doing your first meeting and I'm going to pull up my, uh, I'm going to pull up my random number generator real quick. So if you haven't already put your number in the comments, do that now one to a hundred, we're going to pick the winner out. When you're doing your meetings, like when they're setting up four meetings for you on a Friday, are you doing that? Like Michael Mayer style, like he teaches this thing called the networking stack where you do all your meetings, like at one restaurant, for the whole day or are you going to their offices or how are you doing those meetings? Brother, I've been following Michael Mayer's network stack for years. And quite frankly, okay, it's cool. how I've grown my business to where we're at. That's awesome. So what I used to do, man, I used to pick two days a week. 
I'd pick a morning, like a, a, a breakfast to lunch. And then that's, on Tuesdays, it would be breakfast to lunch. And then Thursdays would be lunch to close a business. And I would meet with four to five real estate agents, new agents that I'd have my team calling. But I did that for two years. Brother, I met a thousand real estate agents in two years. One thousand. Because I was doing I was doing five twice a week. So that was ten per week times fifty. You know, it was it was it, it was insane. It, it, maybe it was that maybe five hundred, I don't know. No, ten a week. It's a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, no, because it was per year, right? So it was five hundred a year. I did this for two years. Wow, my business exploded. It was unbelievable. I had people showing up to the meeting, going, "I don't even know why I'm here, but I see your videos all the time, and I was invited to meet with you. So why are we here?" And we just talked about them. But yeah, dude, that's exactly how you do it. Um, I did it for two years, and we've grown. We've now grown from. You know, 2013, we're doing, I think my 2013 numbers were like 14 million in 2013. And last year, we eclipsed 110 million. We're about to, to do the same here this year, wow. um, which I'm proud of because I know the mortgage industry is down 20% and we're about flat from last year, which is which I'm really, really happy about. But I will tell you that's one of the biggest uh, things that drove our growth was me getting out there and doing that stacking appointment twice a week. And I took his book and I did exactly what the real estate agent in the book did, but I did it as a loan officer. And then I took the book to my meetings, and I said, hey, this realtor wrote about this cool thing called the networking stack. It's where you meet with these people. And I explained to them what I was doing to them while I was with them. And here's a copy of the book for you. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's all, absolutely. I love that. That's super smart. Yeah, I've got a, I don't know, I've got like this original, you know, super old. I don't even know where the actual copy is at, but, you know, that's the... Seven Levels of Communication is the book that we're talking about. If anybody yeah. wants to go, go grab that book. We gave that away on uh, last Monday. We gave, we gave that book away. Um, okay, awesome. Well, man, thank you so much. Those are really awesome tips. Definitely love that. Um, both, you know, to honor your team, make sure that you're doing that because you can get caught up in the day-to-day -day of the business and, you know, people need to feel appreciated, right? I saw somebody in the comments put, what you appreciate appreciates, and that's definitely true. And, uh, and obviously the three the power of threes, right? It sounds like an MLM thing, but it's way better. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, well, I mean, think about it, right? I mean, it, it is kind of like that, but when you track it and you, uh, when you measure it, it becomes important. That's what you focus on. Yeah. And that's what ended up happening. Getting, whatever you write down tends to, I don't know, you ever do that, man? You ever like write down a goal, then you go back a year later, you find the piece of paper that you wrote down what you want to do. We're like, oh, did that, oh, yeah. that, did that. And that's all it's about, you know, it's just about the writing down and tracking it. For sure. Awesome, Mike. Well, thanks so much for hopping on here with me today, man. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, later. Take care, brother. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. See you.